Christine Faria might be about to fight a man in BKFC. Female BKFC champion Christine Faria is set to fight against BKFC Thailand's Usanicorn, who so far has gone undefeated. But when you take a closer look at her, you might see why. Speculation has been raised about the true biology of Usanicorn for some time. In 2012, there were numerous reports on websites saying that tests found that she had three times the average testosterone of a normal woman. She has refused to take any DNA tests to prove that she was born a female. In fact, no official confirmation has ever been made to prove she was not born as a man. In recent weeks, however, BKFC Asia has made the statement that Usanicorn is in fact trans. However, they claim Usanicorn is a woman who identifies as a man, yet continues to compete as a woman. If this is in fact the case, it raises other kinds of ethical questions of testosterone use in sports, especially ones concerning women. Gender-affirming hormones could in fact give her an unfair advantage. It seems like this is the opposite. It seems like a biological man who is taking female hormones to compete against women. But let me know what you think. I think if any woman is going to be able to defeat Usanicorn, it's going to be Christine Faria. However, this situation raises some ethical questions which I think need to be discussed. The only reason I think this hasn't been talked about much is because fights in BKFC Asia, though very entertaining, have not garnered much attention as most of the BKFC fights in the US have. Now that one of the best female bare knuckle fighters in the USA is set to fight her, I think it's time we discuss this issue. Share your comments and opinions below.